We have to do something about this. We can't just depend on the government or social service agencies to save our lives. We have to be proactive. The community at large has to come together and creatively design ways that we can educate the masses of our people. Faye's story is a creative way of educating. I mean, people like being entertained, so if that's the case, I say then let them be enlightened in the process. Let them be educated in the process. And then finally, let them be transformed in the process of being entertained. Yes, Faye's story is laying the foundation for a social movement in the area of women's health, mind, body, and spirit. It promotes a healthy love for self within the woman, regardless of her status. Why is this important? Because the HIV epidemic is affecting each and every one of us, and it's not gonna just magically go away. It's not gonna just disappear. We have to take action around it. Our very survival as a nation depends on the survival of our women, so yes, Emphatically, yes. I say there has to be a social movement in relation to the spread and prevention of HIV in our communities around the globe. I wrote Faye's story for us. Why? It's simple because I want us to survive. Faye's story is written as a prevention for some, but it's also written as a healing and a strengthening mechanism for other people. For the woman who might not be affected by the virus, it acts as a reminder saying to her, whatever I do in this moment, the choice that I make, not only has an effect on me, but the future of our nation. And to a woman who might already be affected by the virus, it says to her, although I'm affected, my life still has meaning. I can still be of service. I can still be strong until the day I take my very last breath. Hi, I'm Hydea Brabant. I'm an HIV AIDS activist. I was born HIV positive in a full-blown age by the time I was three years old. They said I wouldn't live past the age of five, and I'm happy to say I'm 27. That goes to show you that we know that living with AIDS doesn't automatically mean a death sentence. Through my life, I have chosen to speak up and speak out for individuals who don't have a voice or they're afraid to say that they have AIDS because they're afraid of what people might say, the judgment and the stigma that is still very much around. I've chosen to seek out because I just don't want people to go through what I have gone through. Even though I love my life and I'm very blessed, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I'm not gonna cry. It's a struggle. It's a struggle to have AIDS. Um, I, and it, it's, AIDS is killing our community. Um, people are not getting tested. They think it's gone away. They believe that there's a cure. There's, the only cure is not to contract HIV. This project, I feel, is very important because we are 30 years into this epidemic. I've never known a day without AIDS. Our children don't have to know about HIV AIDS. And this project is different. We know that the tools that we used before is clearly not working because 30 years later, the numbers are out of control, especially in the African-American community. We are in a state of emergency. This project is different. I believe that we have to go outside of the box to make an impact. So I just really want people to open their eyes, open their hearts, and open their ears 
and really when it comes to HIV AIDS think about what you do before you do it because it can happen to you even though I was born with this disease I've had a brain infection blood infection chicken pox seven times I've died three times and the doctors were able to save me even though you say Hygiea was born with AIDS um, it can't happen to me the same disease that I'm living with that I struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis is the same disease that you can get through unprotected sex if you don't know your sexual partner status. So it can happen to you. Don't think that my life doesn't apply to you. Use my life as a warning of what you don't want to happen to you. Faye's story is an edutainment piece for us, by us, and we need your help in getting it on the screen. Your donations will make it possible for this film to be shown in schools and churches and libraries, wherever people congregate, that's where we wanna show the film. And after doing that, we want to test people right there on site. And we also wanna have conversations that trickle further into the community based on what they saw on the screen. Please donate, donate, donate. A lot of friends, family, and loved ones in on the project. We are not depending on any government grants or scholarships or anything like that to make this project happen. We're doing it ourselves. So if you're seeing this video, if you would be so kind as to forward it on to any and everyone and encourage you, them to donate as well, then that would be great. Thank you in advance for all of your help, all of your donations, and we look forward to bringing this to a city near you very, very soon. Thank you.